Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RPG Geese. I'm the Sonic Geek. Here with me today is Opie Man. Oh, hi. And it's time for another edition to put it on the list, where we're looking at Persona 3 Portable. Woohoo! This is something more for people who are already fans of Persona 3. I don't text on. Oh. Which I happen to be. New game. Welcome to the world of Persona 3 Portable. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. Choosing a male main character, you'll be able to play a version very close to the original Persona 3. This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience Persona 3, which I am not. Female, char female main character added to this game is not just for female players. It is also for veterans of Persona 3 and Persona 3 Fest who want a new perspective. Please choose a gender. We're going with the lady. Oh yeah. Yes. Choose a difficulty. Story your choice will not influence the story. Choose difficulty level that fits your comfort level. Uh, let's go with easy. Fuck it. <laughs> Please enjoy the game. Give me for a second while I remind myself what her actual fucking name is. Wasn't the, uh, when you get into the game that you can name your own character? Yeah. I'm trying to remind myself what her actual name is. It's like she does have an official name. Batone Shiomi. Okay. Terminal Station, evening. Yeah, this is one of the big reasons why we're starting off with the PS2 version and not this version. Station entrance mm -hmm. is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. Yeah, we get way more tell and don't show. Does memory space, I suppose. No, I can't. Woo woo. By the new city passenger train, Ane Hazuru. Butterfly. Yay! You arrived late. It's almost midnight. And of course the clock is fucking pink. Oh! Damn it, I just bought this clock! Something about the atmosphere seems odd. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Oh yeah, I keep mentioning that the male protagonist is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, who voices Yosuke. Our lady friend over here is voiced by Laura Bailey, who voices Rise. Oh, Laura Bailey. Yep. Oh, Laura Bailey. Yep. Does a wonderful job. Also, look at that giant-ass green moon. It's an eerily gigantic moon. Shit, the Shrek moon. <laughs> <laughs> Someone blew up the DreamWorks so, Somebody. <laughs> Gekko Khan High School, Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Welcome. You're late. 
Hello, Pharaohs. A long time. An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper she's holding out to you. I choose at this fate of mine own free will. Below is a blank to sign your name. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Enter your first name. I am Genghis Khan. Yome. Yome or Shiom? <laughs> Shiom. Yome. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Yep. Who's there? How can oh, you hi, Yukari. Oh, Yukari. Girl is holding something that looks like a gun. Because, you know, looking at the character sprites are way better than just actually showing us... Showing... Showing us that she's holding the f You know what I mean. I didn't think you yes. arrived so late. Hi, Mitsuru. Name is Mitsuru. Mitsuru. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi. I'm Yukari. Meet you. Why do you have a gun? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should Third floor is the ladies' floor. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. All right, and all of that is basically reason one through whatever of why I'm picking the PS2 version over this one. Presentation leaves a lot to be desired. It's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Are you... What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. Barry doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your Go way for it. From the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? I, never mind. It seems like you're all right. Well, I better get going. Just like um, okay sure then. I still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Yukari walked down the stairs. You at least took me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's been a long time since I've heard this song. Oh, this song. Use the directional buttons or analog stick to move the cursor. Hold down the circle button to make the cursor move faster. Also press the R button to display all the icons that can be accessed. The R button again to hide the icons. Press the triangle button to access config, config, erase data, load data, and title screen. To your menu. Reason number two why I'm not a big fan of this game. Don't like this whole fucking point and click adventure shit. At least not with this series. Desk. You are tired today. You should go to bed early. That yeah. wasn't like that in the PS2, right? Nope. Yeah, just as a reminder, that thing we just got done playing, that came after the original Persona 3. It's your oh. story. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? <laughs> totally. Then let's go. Yeah, she actually has a personality. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? 
It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. Ah, uh, yes, look at that wonderful JPEG. Morning. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to GeckoCon High. You're gonna love it here. Geckos. GeckoCon High. Here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Go ahead, Opie. Are you, are you single? <laughs> <laughs> are you available? <laughs> I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night. I knew you were gonna say that. What you saw. Okay. <laughs> see you later. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Press the square button to select an area and go there immediately. Please make use of this function to move around. Something that the original game probably would have benefited from, honestly. Female student. Hey Kaz, why aren't you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. Oh god, I can't remember who's what arcana. Really ought to find somewhere to change it to some normal clothes. Quit glaring at me like that. Okay, so the one on the left there? She's a social link. It's right there, you're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. I worry about you sometimes. <laughs> ah yeah, one of the teachers. These toys don't know how to res show respect for their elders. We're their teachers, we've lived longer than them. But Mariyama and her gang had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. Sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time to place my order. Even you're showing me away. It's a way to start the school year. I don't think my nurse could take this. Alright, I get it. I want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much, right? Did I just ask? Alright, let's get on with it. Fast rosters are posted. Can't find your name. Word it again. There's a small note with your name on it. Tone Shiomi, Class F. Look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. And that you'll be in the same class as her. Now we point and click our way to the office. We're oh, talking to Mr. Point. Samurai Helmet here. Man wearing a Kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? Every man must have this passionate samurai spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. That's fantastic! The teachings of Bushido are important then as they are now. Uh, this kid. One on the right. I want to say Temperance. May not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. You can be having fun. That's good. Oh, you! I remember you. Strange. It says this is the library here. I was just in one down the hall. Is that just another classroom? Uh, which one are you? I think it was... Mmm... I want to say Hermit. Looks like a hermit. Trying to remember Arcanas. Oh, are you the new student? Miss Toriyumi. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you remember her, don't you? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. Yeah, I do remember her. Ten years ago? Thanks to my friend. Oh. <laughs> Been so busy, I didn't have time to read. I, I don't think she's us. Go ahead. I don't want to spoil too much. All right, that's fair. She's a certain certain thing I remember of her. Yeah, I'll talk about it after the video. Oh uh, yeah. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in two F. That's my class. But first, two F. Need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year... Blah, 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 blah. I heard the crap before. She came to school with you. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Doesn't seem like the rumors will stop anytime soon. Oh boy, here we go. Home room is over. Your first after-school session is about to begin. 
look like a deer in headlights. Junpei. Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. And here we have Junpei Iori, voiced by... Internet Controversy Block Activated. Well, I guess we're not talking about it. Moving on. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. No, he likes to eat dirt. Honestly, is there anything... Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? But I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, so God. coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Glad to have a friend. Oh, you mean me? Yeah, I... I'm glad we ended up in the same class, too. Um, hello? <laughs> Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> The whole class was buzzing about you. Ugh, I ship it. it out. Yeah. You and a lot of like you and a lot of the other people. Used to it, but she just got here, you know? Actually, to be fair, it's like not the main character. I mostly see people shipping Yukari with Mitsuru, which I can also get behind. You got that, I could, I can get behind that too. What is she, your nanny? <laughs> well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. Sure, I'll keep a note on that. You're kidding, right? Yukatan's rubbing off on you already, huh? Well, I'll be seeing you around then. Junpei caught up to you in the halls and persuaded you into letting him walk you back to the dorm. Check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. I made small talk with Junpei while walking back. Something that is shown in the PS2 version and not just said. <laughs> Game has a major sh tell don't show problem. There's a signing sheet on the counter. Welcome back. I haven't heard most of this music in so fucking long. Oh, look, it's Tartarus. Mm. Ba bam bam. Zero. Really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. Turn on the television. The trend that just might spread all over town. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. Blah blah blah. Oh, hi, what are you doing? Looking around. Not much to see. Aw. Second floor hallway. Very end. Can you go back to your room now? Go back. Feel tired, you should get some rest. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing that a lot in this game. Both versions. Except without an annoying cat to tell, to tell you to do it. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Hi, Akihiko. I know. Oh, Akihiko, hey, how you doing, man? Yep. Akihiko Sonata, voiced by Liam O'Brien. You know, infinite. From Sonic Forces. What a boxing match. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like you remember him, at least. Have you ever played punch outs <laughs> Oh, dude, if there was ever, like, VR Punch-Out, I'm sure he would fucking kick ass at that. Yeah. Come on, I challenge you to Wii Sports Boxing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No, not that one. The story about the first-year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. Her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming. It's coming. Huh, how about that? Don't believe me? That's gonna be part of a larger thing. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Tsubo Kubota. Tsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? What did I say was my favorite author? Author. Psst, who does she like? That's right. So you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. 
Moving on. Man, you saved my bacon, Katone. Hear your classmates whispering. Katone gave him the answer. She must pay attention in class. You became slightly more popular. Your charm has increased. Class has ended for today. Nothing to do, so you decide to get back to the dorm. Evening. Dormitory Lounge. Oh, she's back. Ah, uh, yes, Akutsuki. This is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chair Fuck you, old man. Ikutsuki. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? No, uh, not really. I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive um, me for fun. <laughs> yeah, just take your leave. <laughs> lame jokes. Yeah. <laughs> you should rest for today. I have to go to your room and sleep. Honk shoe. Later, at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard. Meanwhile, how's she doing? We're hardly working. a little while ago. She's asleep now, Mr. Chairman. Do you think she's? Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Ooh. Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. Shit. Ding. That's God damn it. <laughs> why, why, do I, why have to keep buying more clocks? What the? What's happening to me? Oh, shit. Gee, that looks familiar. Someone just dropped black ink on him. Back in a certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. Okay. Through the blue door. Oh no. Persona 5 has a prison. Persona 4 has a limo. Persona 3 has an elevator. The velvet room. My oh hi. Igor. Between, between dream and reality. Mind and, and matter. And only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Is it a different voice actor or the same? It's the same guy. I think he's just given a slightly different performance. You are I think they might have reused lines from the original Persona 3. You will he, he so like odds are he just yeah. Sounds like he returned from Mexico or something. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like he's had coffee. 
Ah, Senor, welcome to the battery room. I get it. I go. I I go. I go. Rumba. Tainted velvet key. No, Senor. Present for your arrival, but I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Let me enjoy my burrito. Okay, you can stop with that now. Sorry. <laughs> Before this shit is blind. Yeah. Well, look, you had a strange dream. Time to go to the school. <laughs> Hi, Junpei. It was like these had spreads to sleep during class. Ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? I know what you mean. Right? So from dead to being completely full of energy again. Such a great feeling. And again, I'm not listening to the election, so I'm screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today. Since we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Dakota. Uh, I forget if that's a thing in this one. I'm Mr. Dakota. We're teaching you classic literature. We're teaching you about good old Japan all year. We'll say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. Students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. Feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay away. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Ise Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it Da Bomb. <laughs> oh. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> I tell you people are zoning out. Yo, what up, my home slice? Oh no, stop. It's just stop. <laughs> Our academics has increased. Yeah. Unlike the other two, this one you just have three stats. Huh. Charm, academics, and I forget exactly what the last one is. Another thing worth mentioning is that in this version, a lot of students come uh, after school. the female so root has some of its own music. And a really great cafe oh, really? And also yeah, it's got some nice songs. Kinda not for us yet. Nice. Some pop music. Yeah, a little bit. Alonia Mall is crowded with students on the way back from school. May not be the biggest fan of Persona 3's soundtrack, but I like it just fine. It's definitely distinct. It'd be nice to read a book by Moonlight once in a while. Well, she looks like a freaking cardboard card out over there. <laughs> uh, the top down thing. I don't like this point and click. Me neither. Network computer for installed when the dorm was built. Main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. Used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking. There's just the students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? Yeah, totally. You know, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru Senpai just doesn't do things like that. You know, if you're handy around the kitchen, I bet you could really do something with this place. How's she gonna be a good housewife, though? Turned on the television. I'm Trish, today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. She serves the camera woman, I've heard she got her camera from her master. It is news, pain, pain, go away. Pain, pain, go away. That little thing there was a reference to Persona 2. Oh. One of the characters we didn't see. Alright. That's the guy's room. Guy's floor. Click. Keep forgetting that. Go back to your room now. Go back. Feel tired, you should get some rest. Time to go for sleepies. Sleep, sleep. No, that's my dark hawk! <laughs> <laughs> Need to have a closet full of clocks. Do you that fucking SpongeBob picture? Yeah. <laughs> mm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. 
I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. Ah, uh, here we go. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. <laughs> well. Oh. Something. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? <laughs> yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! Uh, what the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeda, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I I'm going! Your room. Did you go check outside? Go take a look. Wake up! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay. Downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. Wait. Take this, just in case. And you a long, thin implement. Used to be a naginata. Let's go. Follow me. They just randomly have weapons strewn about. Yay! All right, we should be safe now. Why don't you say that? You read me. Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. Second floor. What was that? Gotta get moving. It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry. Run away, run away. Run away, run away. The door's locked. <laughs> I think we're safe for now. Huh? You were saying? Nope, we're not safe. <laughs> Ooh, I see you. Here comes the stabbies. You gotta be kidding me. It climbed up the wall? I mean, it's a pile of hands. Of course it can climb. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Can you, though? Here it goes. Ah, oh, it took too long. Yep. Now it's your turn. Russian roulette. You know what? May as well be. Hello, Orpheus. Hey. Yeah, it just doesn't quite have the same effect that it does in the PS2 version. Does it? Yeah. It's like a full uh, anime sequence in that version. Uh, it is brutal. Oh, we need that anime touch, and we didn't get it here. Sadly. Yeah. Like I said, the presentation in this version leaves something to be desired. Uh, Pretty much the main reason I've seen people pick this one over the PS2 version is because of the battle system. 
Oh. Because it has something that the original version lacks, which I'm okay with. Is it over? No. <gasps> it's still moving. A piece of the shadow is heading for Yukari. No. Get away from me. Have to save her. We must. Fight time. Hmm. All right. So this seems like a perfect time. Seems like a well, as good a time as I'm gonna get to like talking about it here. One of the things that I don't like about this version of the game is both main characters are limited to one kind of weapon, whereas in the original version, you could conceivably equip almost any kind of weapon that your other party members could. Oh. So like okay. boxing gloves, swords, bow, rapier, or whatever. It like added that extra sense of adaptability, you know what I mean? Alright. Because in Persona 4, there's only one type of physical damage, and that's just physical damage. In Persona 3, there's three different kinds. You have strike, pierce, and blunt, I believe. Hmm. Da, 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 oh, yeah. da, da, da. Curse, that's yeah. the other one. She, and, and her, she has her own uh, battle theme, does she? Yep. Like I said, she yeah. has her own music. Yeah. Sadly, it's not the other one. But, uh, Mass Destruction. Yes. The famous one. Oh, yeah. Wiping all out isn't too bad, though. Alright. I haven't, I, no, I, don't, I, I haven't. I don't. Okay? I haven't. I, I haven't heard this one though. Please, can you hear me? Answer me. Well, you'll have to look it up when we're done here. Back in the velvet room. Oh. Oh hi. This is the velvet room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see. <laughs> That he did your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Yeah. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Can do. Now then, time hmm. marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. <laughs> I'm not saying Ding. nothing. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> I just imagine Igor just having a mustache. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I'm just imagining <laughs> him have a cup of joe. I'm just bothered. <laughs> I'm not sure where the hell you're getting Mexican from. He just seems like he's a lot. Me just seems like he's a lot higher energy here than he is in four. Uh, Have you been here long? Goodness, you finally came too. I was so worried about you. The coffee is strong, Holmes. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything, but your power—it was amazing. The power. What were the those things? What we're the hell are you have afraid to put a gun in your head? We call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. I'm sort of like you. My dad what do you mean? In an accident when I was little. 
my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest... Well, the full game, I'd say remember that. It'll be important later. It didn't seem fair, <laughs> so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekko. Or will she ever? And why I was there when this happened <laughs> to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Really? But still, here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So... Hold on, did you hear that? <laughs> I've been wanting to share that story with She said hiding things from okay. him, didn't she? I'm gonna get going. Right. Let the others know you woke up. Like, you heard that too, right? Yes. Oh, and uh... You don't have to be formal around me or anything. A second year okay, you curry senpai. After all. <laughs> Bye. Curry <laughs> senpai. <laughs> it's funny because he and the main character are in the same class. Yeah, you know, long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. You feeling okay? Dude, I am just fine. You got the old sure. senpai. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. Hear you, hear you from all the way over there. Hey, it's Yukatan. We live in the same dorm, yet came separately today? Is it because you'll cause too many rumors again? Hmm? Watch, I just left a little late. Anyway, I need to talk to her. Bye-bye, Junpei. What? Here we go, Junpei. Same Ace defective. <laughs> it's hard to hit you with this first thing in the morning. But Akutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. To the fourth floor of the dorm after school today. Don't forget. Alright. Mm -hmm. There's Mr. Samurai Helmet. It's enough uh, about enough. Go ahead. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And then I'm set up for the Stone Age. <sighs> I'm tired of these stupid lessons about stones. <laughs> I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history, not that exciting until that. No, so I'm paid to do this. I, so I've got. It's tough being an adult. <laughs> this is the Jomon period. When did the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question I read. Uh, call it a day. Uh, uh, hey, Junpei! <laughs> What was the style of houses in the Jomon period of gold? Uh, how am I supposed to know something about way back then? Quick, Katoni, what the heck is he talking about? Hmm? I believe oh, it was this? No, it wasn't. Uh, well, it'll only it be fine once you hear the age of Katanas, you dumb idiots. That's all he kept for the wrong answer? He really doesn't care. His gave was wrong. You, su you suck. That's his ender for today. Seems to be something important going on at the door. I decided to go back early. No one here in the lounge. We're told to go to the fourth floor. Well, that sucks because we're going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell. If you want to see more of this game, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.